Okay, you got 30 seconds. Explain this robot, Kevin. All right, so this robot, rather than wasting time with uh, robots that can stack things, this one will carry the boxes over to the stacking robots. So it will make their job easier and it will be overall more efficient. So it uses this uh, ramp that it will, the, each of these can roll the boxes up into the cargo bay and roll them back out. With using, motors? Yes, with motors. Okay. And that is how it will transport them. And the walls can fold in and so can this ramp. And how are you going to place the recycle bin on top of the totes? Um, this robot can carry them over to the stacking robot, so the stacking robot can do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, explain yours. All right, so my robot, it consists of a conveyor belt and a lift. Mm -hmm. So uh, the job of the conveyor belt is to pull the boxes onto the belt, and then the job of the lift is that in case it has to get any of the boxes on, onto a higher point of mm -hmm. the arena, it can do that by just simply grasping onto the boxes and pulling them up and then you can move the robot forward and put it on top. So so this part goes up and down? Yes, and okay. this will, and this extends to 15 inches when it's raised. Okay, and then this is a conveyor belt here that'll move the, yes. the totes into like the belly of the robot? Yes, and the ramp can, move, can be lifted and lowered so it, in case the robot gets stuck on any part of the of the oh. arena, it can move up and down okay. so it can get through. Oh, great. Thank you. This is the concept sketch from Ross. Unfortunately, he is not here today, but he titled it the Noodle bin A robot is designed to place a bin on a holster and then uh, set, noodles into the, uh, set the noodles into, insert the noodles into the bin. The robot moves freely on three wheels and can rotate uh, with exceptional motion. By using the hinge uh, arm fixtures, the bin can be gripped. Uh, and after placing the bin on the holding platform, the noodles are inserted. The robot is controlled uh, remotely and is powered electronically. Okay, and there's the concept sketch right there. Okay, go. So, this is my robot for the first robotics competition. The purpose of this robot is to throw noodles at the opposing side so they lose points. This is the main purpose, but it can also pick up bins. It picks it up with this? Yeah, with the front part because it's 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 rigid on okay. the front. Okay. The robot is also relatively small to allow it to navigate easily. Mm -hmm. So, if it gets stuck on something, the large wheels can also help it get out of that situation. Okay. The catapult will also throw the noodle behind the robot. So this goes all the way back here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and once it picks up the tote, I mean, this is what, like a shovel type thing? Yeah, but but the part of the back of the, of the front part mm -hmm. doesn't allow the tote to fall back. Okay. So it provides some sort of support to it. Okay, so this right here is like a back. Yeah. And uh, while, so... While well, also being able to... Lift catapult it. the noodle back. Okay, now it lifts the totes. Where, where does it place it? Does it place it on here or does it place it on the scoring platform? On the scoring platform. It can only hold uh, one tote at a time. How, how does it pick up the recycle bin? By like scooping it up from the bottom. Scooping it with this part right here? Yeah. Okay. And so this really, you can't do anything with the pool noodles with this robot. You can't put the pool noodles inside of the bin. Right. But it's main, the robot's main purpose is just to throw the noodles at the opposing side and to so, help so, with bins. Right, so you throw like it to those. the other side, and if they don't pick it up at, uh, during the non-autonomous portion, then you get points. Yeah. Okay, right. great. Okay, thank you. Okay, explain your robot. This is my robot for the first robot engineering competition mm -hmm. for recycling, and I designed a robot that would be um, 25 inches by 10 inches. 10 inches this way? Yeah, 10 inches in width. Okay. And it has wheels, like that turn, 360 degrees for mobility. Okay. And it has a, a, a like a heavier um, lower side so it, ha so it doesn't go top heavy. Okay. Because it, it's like carrying the bins. This part goes up and down? Yes, it, it's a it's a pulley elevator system that's actually quite strong to, um, to 
um, lift up the waste bins and put it on there. Okay. While if you wanted to pick up the pool noodles, it would go and it could go over the bin and into this holster. Okay. And the holster has hinges for it to drop to other robots because mm. it, um, its main function is to grab bins and stack them in the desired area. Okay. So this is mostly for stacking totes. Yes. Okay, but it but could also lift the recycle bin. Yeah, it provides it provides it like um, two ways to be able to either sabotage the other team because by dropping it, it can <coughs> roll to the other side okay. or oh. by giving it to the other ones and putting them in the recycling bin. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, thank you.